general evaluator, I will now give you my sanctimonious <laughs> evaluation. <laughs> because to outdo what you did, I need to be sanctimonious. <laughs> no, seriously, what, what I do want to talk about is this is the entertaining spe speaker speech that he provided or gave this morning. This is one of the first advanced speeches once you complete your 10. And I think what Johnny did this morning was gave a great example of incorporating all the things you learned along the way to give an entertaining speech. So when we talk about giving entertaining speeches, it needs to have certain things. Now, I cannot sing, so that, won't be, that wouldn't be a part of one of mine unless I'm using it as a joke. But <laughs> what Johnny did, he was able to use song, laughter, jokes, and imagery with his words and body language to entertain the audience. When you put those little elements in a speech, it's going to entertain somebody. I mean, his opening, I thought he said cannabis at first, but then when he said dog, I was like, okay, 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 okay. Because that is some people's best friend. Now, if you don't know, those who've gone to college, you know what I'm talking about. Some people, that's their friend. But at the end of it, but what I liked about it, you, you build on your speech all the way through. The, the, the imagery of the dogs, you know, and, and I like the use of pauses in your description. Now, one thing I will say that I would like to have seen a little more, a little bit of more pause in your songs. Because the songs, when you, you know, once you went there, it's like, oh, okay. And then you went right into <coughs> that next part. Let us saturate just a little bit for the audience because once again, we're diving in with you. But when you reference the dogs coming to your side and you were stroking them, you stopped and just did the motion with your arms for a minute and then you started back up. So for me, you can, I can visualize two dogs running up and you rubbing the dogs. So that was a great use of pauses. The only thing I could see that of a suggestion was, and it's very minor, very minor, you reference your dogs in the pronoun of girl and boy, but the names of the dogs are two male names. <laughs> now it may be two, a boy and a girl, but you named it Rocky and Goliath, and you referenced them you know, a lot of ways, but then when you talked about, when you referenced them in the pronoun, you said you know, like brothers and sisters. Very minor, that's the only thing, and I would recommend, if you can, reuse this somehow later, because that's just a lot of good material, just to do it one time. Mm -hmm. So thank you. Mm -hmm. This moment,